The snag concept is popular at all levels. Out of trips formation, it creates a triangle read for the quarterback. It puts the flat defender in conflict and can work against any coverage. The snag concept utilizes both a vertical and a horizontal stretch. Out of trips, snag consists of a five to six yard snag route from the number one receiver. And this route needs to sit as soon as the conflict or flat defender crosses their face. He's replacing that defender. If the snag route encounters man coverage, they will pivot out of the break and back towards the sideline. The next route is a corner from the number two receiver. And lastly, you have an arrow at two to three yards from the number three receiver or the running back out of the backfield. Out of two receiver sets or even single receiver sets, the outside receiver runs the snag as a rub and the back or number two receiver runs to the flats to exploit the pick. Snag primarily stretches the flat defender. Whether it's cover three or cover two, the arrow is the first read. The corner route is typically used as an alert. If the cornerback comes up on the arrow in cover two, then that's when you get to the opportunity to, to throw the corner route. Otherwise, that cornerback should be sinking underneath the corner route, which leaves space open in the flats versus cover two. In cover three, that puts the outside linebacker in conflict with the snag and arrow combination. Teams will also run a post from the number three receiver instead of stressing the corner outside in cover two now, the post will force the linebacker to carry and open up space for the snag route. Stafford first looks to the arrow and sees the corner sitting on it. He then shifts inside to the snag route, which has a small bubble of space with the post forcing the linebacker to carry. Often, snag is such a quick hitting play that it's not absolutely necessary to stress vertical defenders. It's unlikely that safeties will have time to come down to impact the throw. The conflict defender is the same, though some may argue that the vertical route is part of what makes snag snag, and without it the play turns more into a, a spacing concept. The Saints are running the two-man snag concept here off of a motion. As the flat defender in cover three widens to take that motion, the number one receiver runs their snag route right where that linebacker vacated, and that gives them an easy completion. While not thrown here, you can see the Lions run a snag out of a bunch formation at the top of the screen, and the arrow pops wide open. The snag route creates a natural rub on the flat defender, and the arrow is able to get to the flats unimpeded. The snag concept allows teams to run a horizontal and vertical stretch on defenses out of multiple formations and provides matchup advantages. It's effective against all coverages and allows for easy completions for the quarterback. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a comment, especially if you have any questions about snag and the concept itself. Happy to answer and get back to you guys. Otherwise, give me some suggestions on the, the NFL film breakdowns if you have any ideas there. And if not, I'll see you guys on the next breakdown.